Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating and meshing aerofoil in Gmesh. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an aerofoil using Gmesh and mesh the created aerofoil. As a prerequisite, the user should have knowledge of aerofoil and Gmesh. If not for Gmesh, please see the tutorial on installing and running Gmesh on the spoken tutorial website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 14.04 and Gmesh version 2.8.3. Let me introduce you to Aerofoil. Aerofoils are streamlined shaped wings which are used in airplanes and turbo machinery. These shapes are such that the drag force is a very small fraction of the lift. This is a picture of an aerofoil. The predefined coordinates for aerofoil are available in simple text file with .dat extension. I will download the .dat file and python script from this URL. Let me open the website. Download the .dat file and python script and go to the downloads folder, copy and paste both these files on the desktop from the download folder. Now open the dat file. This file contains the calculated x, y coordinates for each points that define the aerofoil. The z coordinate is kept as 0. We need the x, y and z coordinates in gmesh acceptable format. This can be done manually but this is time consuming. Now open the python script. This python script converts the data in the .dat file and gives the output in a separate file which is understood by gmesh. Now open the terminal window. Type cd space desktop. Now type python space dat to gmesh.py space the name of the dat file and press enter. Now type ls. We can see that a new file by the name naka5012xyz.dat.geo will be generated. Open the geo file. This contains the coordinates in gmesh format. Here nac underscore lc is the characteristic length which is defined in the first line as 0 0.005. I will change this to 0.5. This is because we require a coarser mesh. You can change this value according to your mesh requirement. Now save this file. In the terminal window type gmesh space the name of the geo file and press enter. This opens gmesh with the aerofoil. Now zoom in by scrolling at the tail end of the aerofoil. You will note that the aerofoil has an open trailing edge. Close Gmesh. Now go back to the geo file. Scroll down. We will add the last point and join it. Now above spline enter point open close bracket. 1046 space equal to open close curly bracket space 1.005 comma space minus 0 0.0005 comma space 0 0.00000 comma space nac underscore lc close it with a semicolon modify the spline as spline 1000 equal to curly braces opened 1000 colon 1046 comma 1000 close the curly bracket semicolon save the geo file now open the modified file in gmesh we can see that the edge is joined now we will make a boundary around the aerofoil using points. 
enter these coordinates 4 3 0 and change the prescribed mesh element size to 0 0.5 press enter similarly add the other points 4 minus 3 0 minus 4 minus 3 0 and minus 4 3 0 now join the points with a straight line Now click on plane surface and select the surface boundary. Zoom in and select the aerofoil as the whole boundary. Press E to end selection. You can see we have our surface. Now we will extrude the surface to make it 3D. Go to translate, extrude surface. A new window will appear asking for the coordinates for translation. Since we want to extrude the surface in Z direction, enter the coordinates for Z direction as 1 and click on the boundary of the surface. Press E to end selection. Use the left click of the mouse to move the geometry. You can see that the geometry has been extruded. Close this. Close the GMesh window. Open the geo file, scroll down and go to extrude. Inside extrude add these lines, layers, open close curly braces, 1, semicolon, press enter, recombine, semicolon, save this file. This will ensure that the mesh is one element thick. Now in the terminal window, open the geo file. Now we have our geometry. We will do the meshing. Gmesh automatically generates the mesh for the defined geometry. Go to mesh, click on 1D mesh, 2D mesh and 3D mesh. The mesh has been generated. You may notice that the mesh is finer near the aerofoil and gets coarser as we move towards the boundary. We can also refine the mesh by clicking on the refine by splitting parameter in the mesh menu. Now let us save our work. Go to file menu and click on save as. A new window will appear. In the drop down change to the mesh format and type the name of the file as airfoil.msh Note that here msh stands for the file type mesh. Click OK. Again click OK. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. As an assignment, create another airfoil by using different dat file for different airfoil shape. In this tutorial, we learned how to create an airfoil in Gmesh how to do meshing in Gmesh. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorial, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken tutorial are part of Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on the same is available at this URL. The script was written by Gautam Sharma and this is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.